Hi everybody, today I just wanted to give off a short video talking about the port expander board. Now this port expander is a stretch goal. Uh, if we meet that stretch goal it will be included for free. If we don't hit that stretch goal I'll make, make sure that it is accessible at cost. Uh, to anyone who's interested in it, check out the Kickstarter link below. It is compatible with the version 1 and version 2 boards. Now this is a version 1 fingerprint scanner board and what I've done here is I've made the proper connections which I'll go over in a minute. I've programmed in my uh, middle and uh, right finger, these two fingers here, to, to correspond with outputs 8 and 9 on the port expander board. There are momentary and latching options using this little jumper. I'm going to power it up, uh, enter scanning mode, hopefully you can see, uh, select mode of operation, so 9999 will send us into scanning mode. And what I'm going to do is I believe I've got pin 9 connected right now. So I'm going to, I've got it set to momentary mode. So watch the LED right here. I'm in momentary mode right now. So as you can see, the LED lit up just for just a short time. If I change this jumper, then output 9 will, uh, will latch high. And it will stay high until I put that same fingerprint on again. So you can switch momentary and latching mode uh, on the fly very easily. And uh, yeah, very easy to use. I'll go through a version 2 uh, example in just a minute. But first I want to talk about the connections and how it works. Here are two tables. The upper table uh, shows you which fingerprint ID slot corresponds to which I.O. port on the port expander board for both the version 1 and version 2. Version 1 is on the left, version 2 is on the right in pink. Uh, the bottom table is the are, are the connections, uh, the pin labels on the version 1 board, which uh, you're supposed to connect to on the port expander board. So in the, for instance, for version 1, the GND pin connects to the GD pin on the port expander board, and that's your ground line. 5 volts to 5 volts, D to D, D is data and in to in, in is input. For the version 2, um, GD connected to GD, 5 volts to 5 volts. Pin 12 on the version 2 board connects to the D pin, the data pin on the port expander board. And pin th uh, 13 connects to the in pin on the port expander, uh, on the port expander board. Now for the uh, upper table, we use ID slots 8 through 20 for the version 1 board uh, to control pins 8 through 20 on the port expander board. Now there are, are 12 I.O. ports on the port expander and they are labeled 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 all the way up to 20. And so that actually tells you directly on the port expander which fingerprint ID slot will, will activate that specific output. As for the version 2, there are two fingerprint scanners on that board. Only the right fingerprint scanner um, Will be com will be compatible with this port expander board, and you can you you uh, you can use ID slots one through ten, uh, and they will control the port expander IOs eight through seventeen. Here is a first-hand look at uh, at the connections. It's a little bit messy. I apologize for that, but as you can see, we've got a, if you want to connect the version two board, you connect five volts to five volts on the port expander board. Uh, pin 13 to in, pin 12 to D, and GND on the version 2 to the GD pin on the port expander board. Whereas on the version 1 board on the lower left, connect the 5 volt line to the 5 volt line of the port expander board in red, GD to GD in, uh, in black, D to D in blue, and uh, in to in on the port expander. So you can, if you have either board, you can easily connect to your port expander with included uh, for wire, female to female wire connectors. You'll notice on the right uh, the lat mon connector. So uh, if you place a jumper on the middle and bottom lat pins, then the outputs will latch when receiving a uh, when receiving data, which means it'll toggle state. So if it's zero, if it's, the output is zero volts, it'll go to five volts, and then when it receives that same fingerprint, it'll go from five volts to zero volts. As for mon, when uh, say let's say the fingerprint slot uh, 8 from the version 1 board is received. Then output 8 will go high for a, cer for a short period of time, then go low again. This is momentary mode. Uh, as you can see, the pins are labeled 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, all the way up to 20 on the top. And there's an extra GD ground line on the upper left. Here's a version 2 example. I'm going to plug it in. Now, we're not going to 
talk about the primary function of the version 2 board, uh, whether or not you use two fingerprints that are saved to the uh, two fingerprint scanners to activate the relay or not. What you need to concentrate on is the uh, fingerprint sl uh, ID slots for the rightmost scanner. So right now I've got uh, output 9 from the port expander connected to an LED. I've programmed ID slot 2 for my second finger fingerprint scanner with my uh, middle finger on my right hand. So I'm going to use my thumb for the left scanner because it isn't programmed in. Whether or not you, whether or not you, you activate the relay or not, the port expander will still work as, as long as uh, you don't miss the timeout there. There is a timeout. So that uh, output will toggle. I'll do it again. Don't miss the timeout. Toggles off. But you'll notice that all three LEDs are, are turning on when I do this. That's because my, my thumb is not programmed in to the to the uh, to the left uh, FPS scanner. So if I use uh, my my uh, pointer on my left hand and my middle on my right hand, uh, what will happen is the relay will toggle. And as well, you heard the relay click there. As well, the uh, the uh, port expander output toggled states. So very simple. You just need to connect the four wires to your port expander and you're off to the races. So thanks for watching guys. I hope uh, I hope this has been educational for you and I, I hope we hit the stretch goal. Uh, if not, again, I will be making this port expander DIY kit. It's very simple to assemble. You just need a soldering iron in about 10 minutes of time. I'll be making an assembly video for it. Uh, but it's uh, if we hit that $6,000 stretch goal, then this will be free to everyone who's purchased a piece of hardware. So thanks for watching. Take care.